Hi, I'm Annabelle and I'm here with Katie and Helen and we're here to talk about making the most of your networks. So let's look at how startups expand their networks. Every single publisher turned down my book on feeding babies because no book on feeding babies had ever done well so I was judged on my predecessors and no literary agent would take me on and then I was playing tennis with a friend and I told him about my book and he told me that he knew a book packager and they took it to Frankfurt Book Fair and about three months later Simon & Schuster, a big American publisher, bought it and then Random House bought the book. And I think a lot of people are afraid about talking about their new ideas and they keep it to themselves. And if I had not spoken to that guy, I would never have had my book published, I've never had my career. So it's important sometimes to let your ideas be known because you never know what will come of it. No, I think you have to run before you can walk because you'll never feel ready to broadcast a polished version of what you're doing and often your idea only becomes polished in the conversations and narratives that you have with people and you finesse your objectives whilst you're talking about mm -hmm. it and I think also saying yes to opportunities without agenda because you don't know where they'll lead. It's also about working really hard and giving as much as you want to eventually receive um, because when I first started I was kind of writing articles and shooting mm -hmm. them out into the abyss and not getting anything back until eventually I started to um, look at all the people who were doing what I wanted them to mm. be doing and talk to them and give them what they needed, oh, yes. which at the time as a blogger was blog comments. Bloggers just want comments and sharing of their articles when they first start. I think it's true, I think you can make more friends in two months by being interested in other people mm -hmm. than in two years by trying to get people interested in you. Definitely. If, if you're interested in someone else, then there's an immediate reason mm. for them to connect with you. Mm. And that's where, it, where the seed is sown. Yeah, and it's genuine. I'm not saying you put it on, but you, genuinely you learn so much more by listening to other people than telling them about mm. what you're doing. And you can't be on broadcast mode all of the time. No. Um, and you learn more by listening than mm -hmm. shouting your own story. What about you? Have you heard any stories about you know, something successful that came out of the blue? Oh, absolutely. And I love that quote. My husband taught me to always ask questions, never talk about myself if mm. I wanted to get somewhere and I use that so effectively now. I have a PR that I'm in regular contact with and they're wanting exposure on my blog and sometimes I'll just do something for him. He'll say, Helen, I have no budget but I'll take it and do it because the last time I did that for him, the next time he gave me a holiday to review. Mm. So it really pays to share and give mm. of yourself. So can digital networks trump physical networking? What do you think, Katie? The internet has obviously made the world a lot smaller and you can definitely benefit from networking you know from your bedroom in your pajamas while your baby's under a year yes. I think it's an exciting time I think probably the best answer is a blend of both I don't think sometimes you can beat a cup of coffee in a face-to-face -face chat so do collaborations with other brands help fast track uh, a startup's success I think when I, um, with Mumlin, my baby product, obviously as an unknown brand, piggybacking onto other people's success and existing reputation is, the, is a great way of, of speeding up your um, brand notoriety, I suppose. And so I partnered with Baby Bjorn and they put Mumlin in some of their goodie bags. But I think it only works if it works for it's both the right parties. Brand. And it's the right brand. And what about for you? Have you worked Definitely. with brands? Oh, well, I work with brands all the time. I'm, I, I get lots of approaches for people who want to feature on the website because it's well read. Um, but I will only say yes to things which I know will really resonate with my family because that's when I can write authentically about it and do the brand a favour and the brand is good for my website as well. Thanks for watching and thanks Katie and Helen. My top tips for networking are, networking in your PJs is as important as networking face to face. When you're starting out, just say yes. You don't know where your break will come. Don't be scared of your competitors. Look for ways to work together to succeed. 